so, birthday girl. Yeah. It's going to so be a crazy. nice day. Yeah. It's going to be a nice day. It's going to be a beautiful day, which I'm glad because typically this time of year here is not, you know, Right. Sunny. It's not, <laughs> so, I, yeah. I mean, I know it's not right now because it's dark, obviously, but we have a lot of fog and that will eventually leave. But, and I know I'm wearing purple because I'm a husky. I am a dog. I went to UW Tacoma. So, they're playing today, but we were just talking about the Cougs. Yes. So, I will give you the You're Cougs forecast first. Yes. Um, but, you know, still a dog at heart, guys. All right, here we go. So, or, uh, Cougars versus Oregon. They're going to be playing kickoff at 430. Everyone already tailgating. You saw earlier. We'll have more uh, hits with them. More live shots coming up a little bit later. But you can see it's going to be sunny. Temperatures uh, pretty much expected to be in the upper 60s by that point, but by the end of the game, upper 50. So, it's going to be lovely. Make sure you have a light jacket, though. Maybe towards the end of the game, start getting a little chilly. And then if you're going to stay here for the Huskies game against Colorado, the CU Buffs, they're going to be uh, temperatures, I should say, are going to be about upper 50s to lower 60s. So upper 50s to start, lower 50, 60s by the end of the game because we're expecting this to be the high in Seattle today, lower 60s. So we are looking at that kickoff at 12:30. So go dogs and go Cougs. Look, I'm a, I'm a nice dog. God, that sounds awful, doesn't it? Okay, so here's a look at if you're heading out to Pullman, though, I do want to let you know there is an air stagnation advisory. Eastern Washington dealing with this. Uh, we do have the potential to see a little bit of a downgraded uh, air quality in western Washington, but most spots are good right now, a couple moderate levels, but that's just because we have air stagnant air, that high pressure sitting on top of us, not getting a lot of movement. And so some of that is uh, definitely causing uh, respiratory issues. If you have respiratory issues, will cause a problem probably for some of you being outdoors in eastern Washington through Tuesday. So just be mindful of that. In the meantime, we're just looking at those clouds. Well, the low clouds, the fog, and that's pretty much it. We're looking at temperatures uh, ranging in the 40s. We do have a, a couple 50s there, like at Oak Harbor at 51, but for the most part, pretty chilly, although it is a couple degrees, a few degrees warmer than this time yesterday. It's time for Fido's forecast to get you through the next several hours. Oh, I forgot to write. This is supposed to say, uh, well, actually, this is actually this is accurate for the time, but I like to do, when I'm this early, I like to do 12 and 5, and I forgot to change that. You know, well, I have to do all this, you know, and sometimes you just forget. <laughs> But this is accurate to the time there. So I'll, I'll change it though for a little bit later on because you're probably like wondering, well, what about lunchtime? In the meantime, this is Moose. Moose is repping the dogs and it's going to be mostly sunny day once we get rid of that fog, of course. So you can see by 5 o'clock we're looking at temperatures near 60, upper 50s by 7 o'clock. But yeah, I'll change that to about noon and 5 so we get you a more accurate look at the day <laughs> instead of just now and night. <laughs> so here's a look at your mountain forecast talking about mostly sunny there as well. Temperatures in the 60s. We'll have an east wind around 10 miles per hour and a freezing level of 13,000 feet. So get out and hike while you can because... Hiking season's probably going to be ending soon, unless you like to hike in the rain or the snow. Here is a look now at your seven-day forecast, and we only have a few days left, guys. Tuesday is the transition day. First half of Tuesday actually looks pretty good. The second half is when we'll start to see those showers moving in. Wednesday, Thursday look pretty wet, and then Friday just a few leftover showers. So not bad, but temperatures cooling down and rain coming back.